Wugworm Breadcrumbs, episode two, in the house. Right, okay, I'm super pumped, I'm super pumped, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. So, uh, we didn't really explore Viridian Forest in the last episode, you know, we, we were in a bit of a rush. We didn't even get our encounter in, in, you know, in here, last episode, so, we'll get our encounter. Here we go, it's a Weedle, very... <laughs> Are we sure this is randomised? Are we sure this is randomised? I'm just going to go for a Pokeball. It's it's just a Weedle, right? It's just a Weedle. It's stronger than our Machop and uh, and Ekin's combo. Uh, come on, you're a level three. Just stay in the ball. Allow it. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, what are we gonna call this? Of course, of course. Naturally, if I'd call a Metapod or Kakuna, I would have called it Viagra. That's what I. <laughs> Ooh, a protein. That's money. That's money. Ooh. Okay. All right. We want to get everything. We want to. We want to collect everything. Get these mushrooms as well. Might be able to sell them. I'm surprised though. I would have thought the mushrooms would have been randomised. I would have expected them to be randomised. But you know, it, I can live without. I can live without them being randomised. It must be used for something. There's like little uh, side quests in this game. I don't know if we'll be bothering with side quests since we're doing a Nuzlocke. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do side quest stuff. Um, certainly if we find ourselves in a position where it's like, you know, we need to train up. We don't really want to advance, you know, because it's too scary or whatever. Maybe the side quest stuff, you know, would be a good way to level up and, and you know, not before having to jump into the fire of, you know, crazy mons and crazy levels. Are we sure this is randomised? Because this is like, this is basically Viridian. Not for, yeah, Viridian. Uh, okay, I think we've cleared out this area. Why can't we be catching level 5s, though? Why can't we be encountering level 5s? Come on, then. Let's go. Let's go. That's a... a sentry? And a... And a sun curve. Interesting. Oh, no. That's going to hurt. Oh, no. Okay, we'll sing that. We'll sing. Oh no, Dumbo! Come on, Dumbo! Come on, Dumbo! Look at his little face. I don't know. I actually think Jigglypuff looks better as a fampy. I know I was hating on Jigglypuff last episode, but Dumbo's been putting in some work. It has to be said. He's been putting in the time. Come on then. Take it out. Take it out. Critical. Alright, we're just going to go for the disarming voice, but he has a quick attack, of course. Of course. Alright. What have we got here? Ah. Again, I'm expecting, uh, I'm expecting a water type attack. But we get a crit, so I'm not bothered. <laughs> we get crit, so I'm not bothered, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Okay. Level 11, nearly level 12. Maybe even level 12 after this. And... Oh. Oh, it's only attack, not special attack. Oh, not very effect. Oh, cool. All these poison shit. We've got to get out. Uh, sing him. Oh, I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. I don't want to hit, get hit by a crit. That's the last thing I want. Charm, that's fine. 
just put him to sleep. Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep. Oh, are you serious? It's not going well. Dude, I've had no accuracy drops. Right, finally. And I was only trying to put him to sleep because I'm scared of this crit, but he, he just didn't attack. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, dude, this is like torture. I'll just go to sleep. I'm really quite worried about this. We could lose here. Why are we missing? Why are we missing? <sighs> okay. Putting him to sleep is clearly not working. Um, I think we'll have to switch in Phallus and either sack him. We need we need to get the uh, the attack drops off Dumbo, and then start hitting him with tackles and stuff. Right. Ah, oh, see, this is it. Come on, don't drop my attack again. Don't do it. Okay, now you can do it because it shouldn't matter. Uh, he's done it now, maybe it'll matter. No, it didn't matter, yes. Okay, cool. And we didn't get level 12 out of that. I'm surprised. God, that was a big battle. That was a brutal battle. And it shouldn't have been. It was a, it was a bug catcher. Right. Let's proceed. No. We could have gotten a tie rogue. Dude, I'd have loved that. Put the metronome. What? What? Put. What? Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Is that any move? A Pokemon held item that boosts a move when used consecutively. Its effect is reset if another move is used. You know what? I, I don't know much about Pokemon items or, or Pokemon games beyond Pokemon Red and Blue. But what I will do is I will do some research about that. That's an interesting item. I still need to find out about that Magmarizer we picked up last episode. Whether we can use that. I don't think we can. All right. We need to learn a ground type move like pretty damn soon. I'm not feeling too comfortable without a ground type move. I want some of that stab. We ain't got any. St well, I suppose the normal type moves are stab because we're normal. But hopefully we'll find a moonstone soon. If we find a moonstone, we'll get that fairy typing. But I've realised in between last episode and this episode, I have realised that. We are going to be a Jigglypuff Fampy for ages until we find a Moonstone. Because Fampy doesn't evolve until much later on. Much, much later on. So, we might have shot ourselves in the foot picking Fampy. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to get too upset about it, to be fair. We're just going to roll with the punches. See where it takes us. We're going to roll with the punches, baby. Alright. Seriously, that didn't kill? Alright, well, it doesn't matter. Let's just get let's get through this. Let's get through Viridian Forest. Get to Pewter City. And... I would quite like to take on Brock today. But... And there is a, there's a huge but. I think we need to do some grinding. I think grinding is essential. This Viridian Forest really hasn't felt very randomised. But yeah, I, I think we absolutely must 
we we must randomize sorry not randomize we we must train we must do some grinding in order to get um get ready for brock we must randomize that's what happens when you when you do a, a randomizer is uh, you get randomizer on the brain okay here we go a weepy a weepy Togepi and Weedle. See, look, some of these fusions are, are absolutely awful. But some of them are really cool. Some of them are really cool. Like, I'm hoping we find a really good Mon very, very soon. Because, remember, after Brock, there's the, um, there's the Magikarp that the guy gives you for $500. That's going to be a randomised encounter. But if it's not a randomised encounter, Magikarp's, you know, going to turn into a Gyarados, eventually. Um, but hopefully it's randomised. I don't know how this game works. I only got up to Brock the last time I played. Okay. So that train is down. We're at level 13. We don't want to learn Disable, that's fine. Okay, so I think the best course of action right now, we get healed up obviously, but I think the best course of action, throw Arnie up front and then start switch training. I think it's the, I, I really do think, he's the one I want. Ooh, 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 honey. No, he's he's the one that I want to be training. I, I don't I do not care about the Weedle, not at all. Now the thing is, you can refight some trainers. I discovered this last time I was playing. Um, yeah. I, I just I'm I'm really into this game. I'm really enjoying it. You know, it, it's such a you know, a good effort by fans of the game, fans of the series. I think these guys have gotten into trouble from Game Freak and stuff, but it has to be said, if Game, Pro if Game Freak gave us, you know, more options like something like this, then, you know, then there wouldn't be any need for, you know, people making their own version of the game. Like I say, you know, this is a great idea, this is a great concept. I think we've all wanted to, you know, mess around with Pokemon fusions. I think this, th there was a website that did Pokemon fusions. I think they actually took the sprites from that website. Um, but I also know that the most recent version of the game is... Updated graphics, updated uh, sprites. So, maybe not anymore uh, is it from that website. But it, I'm sure it used to be. I'm sure I heard that somewhere. Uh, I'd like to thank my friend Mike for introducing me to the game. He, uh, he's certainly into Pokemon more than I am. But I'm glad he showed me the game. I'm really into it. So much so that I'm doing a, a whole series about it. Honestly, I hope you guys download this as well. Um, I'll put a link in the descriptions of each episode where you can get the game, how you can download it. Um, maybe you guys can play along too. Uh, you guys have a whole episode to catch up on though. That's all. I forgive you. I forgive you. Alright, here we go. I'm surprised how slowly Machop is uh, gaining experience. Still only level 3. Um, Cacchu. I like him. He's cool. We'll go, we'll go with disarming voice on this guy. 
yeah, I'm not actually hating on Dumbo anymore. It's not as, uh... Oh, two levels out of that! We got two levels out of that. Sorry, forget about talking about Dumbo. We got two levels out of that. Arnie's getting beefy. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, we'll still swap out. <laughs> we'll still swap out into our reliable Dumbo. Oi, look, I, I'm not really into kids' films or anything like that, but this new trailer for Dumbo, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a Tim Burton fan, I'm not a kids' movie fan, but this new live-action Dumbo, it looks like Tim Burton has made a good film again. I'm, I'm... I don't even want to be controversial. I don't want to piss anyone off. But I don't like Tim Burton. I don't like Tim Burton. I think he's done like four, maybe five good films. And not and Edward Scissorhands is not one of them. Don't like that film. And I don't understand why everyone else likes it. Um, this is not my cup of tea. But yeah, I mean, he's made a handful of films that I like. Most of his filmography I'm not a fan of. Um... I think Beetlejuice is good fun. Batman Returns, I love. I love Batman Returns. Huge nostalgia for me, that film. Christopher Walken's great in it. DeVito is sublime in it. Um, Mars Attacks, I really enjoy. That's a good fun Burton romp. But the best one, obviously, is Ed Wood. Ed Wood is just a work of art. If you haven't seen Ed Wood, I implore you, you must watch it. If you think you like Tim Burton, watch Ed Wood. You'll be like, oh, okay, I know I love the guy. He's amazing. But I'm not a fan of him, if I'm honest. Just Ed Wood is incredible. And if you are a Tim Burton fan and you haven't seen Ed Wood, you, you absolutely must. You absolutely must. Well, but that's a bit of a tangent. Don't know why we're talking about Tim Burton. Um, especially considering I'm not a fan, uh, but who knows, tangents are fun. Did you know that Tim Burton didn't direct A Nightmare Before Christmas? He just came up with a few ideas and drew a few pictures. Yeah. Didn't that just blow your mind? Didn't that just blow your mind? I'm sure it didn't blow your mind. I'm sure most of you knew already. <laughs> but this is what happens when you go off on a tangent and there's no one here to tell me to stop talking. So I'll just keep going and going. Why am I keep getting paralysed? This is annoying. Alright. Do you think... Do you think Arnie can take this on his own? Because I think he'll get solo experience if we can get this kill. He's only got like one health. I think we can take him. I think we can take him. Yeah. Solo experience. Double level. I do like a double level. I do, I do, I do like a double level. That focus energy might come in handy, it might not, but we'll learn it, we'll learn it. Alright, so Arnie's getting there, Arnie's getting there. He's a... Uh... I'm, if I'm honest, I'm, I'm sort of wanting Arnie to be our main mon, because I'm, I'm a huge, I, I just love Machop so much. And I'm a fan of Ekans as well. And I'm not a fan of Fampy or... Or Jigglypuff. Although Don Fan is like a beast. I do like Don Fan. I remember when I was a kid and I went to go see the Pokemon movie in the cinema. And uh, that was the first time I'd seen a Don Fan at the beginning of that film. I was like, what? that's cool. God knows how old I was. I think that, was that the 90s? God. Deary me, I would have been young. I don't know. I don't know. I've tried to really block out as best I can uh, <laughs> Pokemon related things. Uh, no, I only kid. Po it has to be said, it is a good fun game. I do enjoy it. It's a good giggle. 
I, I, the thing is, I when Pokemon Go hit, you know, I, I got that on my phone because it was free, and I thought, oh, all right, I'll, I'll try it out, and I thought it was good fun. Um, I might have played it, you know, I played it for a few months, you know, um, but then when Gen Two hit, again, like with the original series of games, I lost interest when Gen Two hit. Um, but I did quite enjoy Pokemon Go, and it and it's relit a uh, a love for Pokemon within me, should I say? Um, like I has for so many other people. I I look out in the street and I see people on their phone still catching Pokemon. I don't do it anymore, but you know I think it's quite nice that they've uh, you know that they've recaptured some of the old magic from way back in the day when I was a kid. And like Pokemon was, you know, the stuff to be into when I was a kid. Pokemon cards, like they had to ban Pokemon cards from my school, and I think from most people's schools because, you know, everyone, you know, people were either stealing them or they were gambling with them, you know, or you know, if they ever got damaged, you know, it would really upset kids, you know. So, you know, they ended up just banning them in my school. Um, but they were a big deal. I mean, when I was like eight or nine, we used Pokemon cards as currency, boy. Like, we, you know, England at the minute, we're worrying about Brexit and the pound dropping in value. But shit, I tell you what, we should go back to using Pokemon cards. And the, the, the economy would be sorted, mate. The economy would rectify itself if we were using Pokemon cards. I've still got a shiny Gyarados somewhere in a shoebox in the loft. So I'm telling you, I'm a millionaire on that basis. Bring in Pokemon cards for the new currency. That's it. That's it. That's how we win. That's how we beat the terrorists. Use Pokemon cards for currency. That's how we do it. Right. <laughs> oh, dear. You're going to come to realise this about me. The more, the more you come and watch my videos, the more you're going to come to realise that I'm, a, I'm an absolute muppet. And uh, hopefully you love me for it. Hopefully you love me for it. Bite is a huge move to learn at this point. Bite is a huge move to learn. That's a 60 base damage, I th I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's 50 base damage. Oh, don't kill us. Don't kill us. Okay, we're switching. We're switching. This is why we've got Dumbo in the wings. We've got Dumbo waiting in the wings to just jump in, be back up whenever required. Well, that is doing an alarming amount of damage. It's doing 12 damage. Ha! But we one shot, so who cares? One shot, mate. Alright. I don't know. I mean, we're at 23 minutes already, and I really wanted to do Brock at the end of the episode. I might do like a. A little bit of a longer episode for you guys today because we need to grind we need to grind there's nothing else to do in this area except grind I can't I want to I want to have a good episode for you guys I know this is a bit boring but or I'll tell you what well I mean I'll, I'll do this fight and then I'll end the episode here and then I'll do some off-screen grinding how about that I'll do some off-screen grinding uh, in between episodes. Um, so what I'll do, I'll, maybe I'll get everyone up to maybe level 15. I'll get Arnie up to level 15. I'll get Dum Dumbo up to level 15. Uh, yeah, does that is that uh, maybe that's the best course of action. I'll do some off-screen grinding. All right, yeah. I think that's how we'll roll. I think that's how we'll roll with it. So let me just get through this battle. Um, but yeah, again, let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see the grinding? If you want to see the grinding, that's fine. Um, I mean, I've had a good giggle grinding with you guys. Ooh, that's what she said. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I mean, you know, I, I don't mind doing on-screen grinding. I don't mind doing it off-screen. We have gotten to... We're already at 25 minutes, and all we've really done is Viridian Forest. I really wanted to be doing Brock today. Um, 
I'll tell you what, we're at 25 minutes now. Um, I'll, I'll do some off-screen grinding. I'll do some off-screen grinding. So that's that's going to be the end of the episode. That's episode two in the bag. Right, thank you for watching, guys. Join in for episode three. We'll be going to be doing Brock and... I mean, this has been a very fun uh, experience. It's going to keep getting more fun. We haven't even gotten to the first gym. We're just here now. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out, hombres.